I want to talk about the enormous price targets that the mainstream media has set for AMC stock today. These forecasts indicate that the stock price will rise above $400 per share. I want to talk about why these goals might really exist and why they might take place if there is no squeeze scenario. In a squeezing scenario, I also want to talk about how the squeeze might actually happen. Let's go right to the important information. The tweet from AMC Diamond Hands read, Look what I found. Price predictions for AMC even without a squeeze. I recently learned where these targets came from in the first place. Let's talk about their goals and the methodology they use to get there. Based on the amount that AMC Entertainment's stock has gained annually over the past 10 years, they estimate that it will be worth 8.29 at the beginning of next year. The stock price will be as follows annually till 2030, based on the same data. The stock price is expected to rise steadily over the next few years, reaching a top of $398 in 2030. This prediction is based on the company's performance and growth over the last decade. Essentially, it is predicting that, as it continues to recover and strengthen, AMC will hit $398 a share based just on its fundamentals. Don't think that I've given up on a squeeze and am only depending on AMC's basics. <laughs> These fundamentals, in my opinion, are only one possible catalyst that can cause the squeeze on top of all the other catalysts we now have. The AMC Fundamentals Catalyst is comparable to the Tesla Fundamentals Catalyst, which is basically a guaranteed squeeze scenario, if I may use that comparison. To clarify, there are several scenarios that could result in the squeeze, including the current AMC cost to borrow fee and the new AMC FTD's regulations, Citadel's bankruptcy, the bankruptcy of other hedge funds, a market crash, and all of these other potential triggers. But I think there's a greater chance that some of these situations will result in the squeeze than others. For example, there is a very high probability of a squeeze if Citadel goes bankrupt. If there is a market crash, I would say there is also a very high probability of a squeeze. However, there are other catalysts, such as the FODs, which have a slightly lower percentage chance of actually causing a squeeze because they haven't done so yet. However, I believe that the fundamentals of AMC would cause a guaranteed squeeze in the same way that they caused one in Tesla. Clearly, over the past 5 or 10 years, Tesla has been steadily strengthening its fundamentals, which has led to the company crushing those shorts. This article is essentially forecasting the same outcome for MC if AMC's current growth and recovery continue to be profitable, generate cash, and pay down the debt in the future, the price will naturally move to $400 per share and above. The Tesla stock did in fact run from $10 to $20 per share upward at some points to over $1,000 per share. Naturally, I think the shorts would be pushed out of their positions as we began to move past this point, past $30, $50, and $60 a share, making the AMC squeeze more like the Tesla squeeze. However, it's interesting to note that even mainstream media outlets or just various news publications are starting to predict that AMC's price will move upward again and that this is also happening at interesting times. As I mentioned earlier, this is just one potential catalyst on top of all the other catalysts we have at the same time that are likely to cause the squeeze. We recently saw a tweet from Reuters Europe stating that AMC Entertainment Holdings is filing for bankruptcy due to an overwhelming debt burden. This is obviously flood news, and AMC is not going bankrupt. However, there is something much more intriguing and cunning going on here. And with Meme, you can currently get a guaranteed free share of Google or Tesla and a $100 cash reward, which you could always use to purchase more shares of AMC GameStop or Ape. All you need to do is sign up for Moomoo using the link in the description below and make a qualifying deposit if you want that $100 cash award and five more free stocks. If you want more free stocks and that guaranteed free share of Google or Tesla, simply make the increased qualifying deposit. It's free and a fantastic way to help the channel and me. In contrast to the Real Router's Twitter account, which has hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers, this Router's Europe page is a phony Router Zero page with just 2,500 followers. The fact that this page just has this blue verification checkmark instead of a gold one like the bar chart further indicates that it is a phony. The fact that someone has taken the extra step to construct a second Routers Europe page in order to copyright the Routers logo, in order to pay for Twitter verification and get more phony followers, just serves to further vilify this. 
Once more, this is either the result of short sellers or paid shills going above and beyond to fabricate pages in an attempt to propagate false information. I've seen why they're doing this, because the squeeze is approaching and Blackstone's Real Estate Investment Trust is announcing significant liquidations. The liquidations that I have been discussing are finally beginning to materialize. A striking bar chart of tweets stating that Blackstone's Real Estate Investment Trust has announced significant liquidations, including the sale of $3.1 billion worth of its commercial portfolio and possibly its holdings in Las Vegas, shows that many of these real estate funds are selling off a large portion of their assets and commercial real estate portfolios. This is a result of the trust's redemption demands becoming unmanageable. I don't know if Blackstone is shorting AMC, but this is merely another step in the process of liquidating hedge funds, downsizing their holdings, and having their margin called. Blackstone Real Estate Investment Trust recently made headlines for enforcing a condition that limited owners' withdrawals for a number of months in a row, according to the news. Like Citadel did a few years ago, Blackstone is likewise trying to raise more money in order to hold a billion-dollar stock raise. Given that the cost of borrowing fees for AMC is increasing once again, these hedge funds are presumably concerned, and it's probably going to remove those earlier high stocks. Batman Tweet is saying the borrow rate for AMC hit 868 per share. This is the highest AMC's Costa borrow has been since April, at 979. Again, we can see from this chart, AMC's Costa borrow fee is moving up strongly. Uh, especially as those FDX are starting to flood back in, I think we're going to see more than just 1,000% likely, closer to 2, 3, 4, even 5,000% uh, borrow fees as Crystal has drawn based on this increasing trend line. Um, it's likely we'll see upwards of 2,000% cost borrow fee. Now, something else that's really interesting is, um, as Mags has tweeted, the FDX tokenized stock for GameStop is actually still active. Um, you may remember I spoke about the, um, the EMC Entertainment Holdings tokenized stock FTX uh, that was recently active on Crypto.com. Um, we knew the trading finished somewhere around uh, November of 2022, supposedly at $4 per share, um, but recently become active again, um, where the price fell to just $25 again. It seems like the AMC tokenized stock was being shorted this entire time, lower and lower, over and lower. But um, interestingly, if we look at this screenshot, uh, we can see the GameStop tokenized stock FTX is actually still active even to this very day. We can see the screenshot is from July 5th, 2023, uh, where the GameStop stock on FTX is supposedly still moving. Again, it seems to be barcoding massively between 16.81 and 19.62 cents this entire time. That's not just a one or two cent move every few seconds or every few minutes. That's an entire $3 movement every few seconds. So it seems that shorts are still up to their old tricks, still trying to manipulate AMC and GameStop through these tokenized securities. Finally. Something made me chuckle is that we seemingly need an infinite liquidity ferry to sell synthetic homes in that housing market. Unusual. Although there aren't enough houses to go around, the number of new home orders is increasing. It would be great if someone like Doug Siffo, the imprint liquidity ferry, could make those kinds of fake houses. I discovered on Twitter that May saw the fewest available homes in the United States. In his tweet, Bingham stated, no one can sell because they don't want to lock in higher rates on a new home. They've already locked in mortgage rates below 4%, he said. It would be great if Doug Seafood could provide those people with some fake homes. He could manipulate the home market in the same manner that he manipulates the stock market if he had infinite funds. Speaking that out loud, however, lessens the possibility that Doug Seafood has been led to manipulate the market by permitting transactions to take place when there aren't enough shares to go around. If Doug Seafood can't sell real homes, why is he allowed to offer fake homes on the market?